Hi everyone, this is Kevin Boyle, and uh, today's topic will be on nutrition resources that can help you and your clients. Before we dive into that, I did just want to review all of the virtual fitness options that all USF members and employee have, employees have access to. So this is through the One Life site, um, backslash virtual fitness. There's a similar site for sport and health. Uh, and we can also assist our Crunch members with accessing this content. Um, so first we have less meals, so more of our um, group fitness style programming. But if you're also looking for some good regen and, and yoga type workouts, uh, these, those will be in there as well. There is a, a TRX app, free access, and discounts to purchase TRXs uh, for home use and then the train heroic app as well uh, and there's a stock program already available uh, one life is one life one all they have to do is download the app and enter that code sport and health is health one and crunch is crunch one uh, this does not uh, th these are stock programs this does not include kind of what you would be able to do through custom programming through train heroic so let's dive into some nutrition resources that hopefully you're already using, but uh, if you're not, then we can kind of uh, look at this as a great opportunity to now focus on the nutrition piece for our clients. Uh, we can't outwork a bad diet, and maybe this uh, lack of face-to-face, one-on-one time, or access to our gyms is a time to refocus on what we can do with nutrition. <clears throat> so I'm gonna play a video in a second on the Vitabot app. But first, I'm just going to highlight some other resources that I'll include along with this recording. One is a simple questionnaire that we use uh, mainly on the EP side of things for our athletes, but this would apply to anyone. Basically, you get a point for good behavior and you get zero for bad behaviors. So it gives us a score that uh, codes our nutrition behaviors and, some, and a target to improve. So if we got a total score of, say, seven, um, we could simply look at the zeros, change those behave behaviors from no's to yeses, like do you eat at least three pieces of fruit each day? <clears throat> and, and then they would get a point and improve their score uh, right there. This is how we can really impact nutrition and also be mindful of um, you know, where we should refer out and what we're actually allowed to do in terms of nutrition. We can use uh, Vitabot and other resources like that that have registered dietitians and nutritionists behind them and just make people aware of how to use those better. And we can make them aware of their behaviors. This is not prescribing a detailed uh, meal plan. So this is one option. I'm gonna scroll through and show, this is a sample of the Vitabot app. This is something you might wanna include in an email or on social media to show uh, all the, the great ways that, uh, that this app can work for them. Uh, they get an A plus rating on all their macro and micro, micro, micronutrients. And um, this is a, a sample meal plan for a day for someone who weighs 180 pounds and is looking to maintain that. Also, have some, uh, some sample recipes that you could just screenshot and post to social or share directly with your clients for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and of course, some snacks. And a lot of this is dependent on what uh, people have in their homes and are able to access, but at least we're uh, giving them some support in that way. Um, this athlete plate graphic is, um, you know, uh, is great for anyone. If you're not training very hard or don't have access to be able to do that, uh, you're stuck at home, maybe you're not walking as much as you normally would because you're not getting out of the house. So that would be under the easy training weight management. And this is what their plate should look like. This visual representation is sometimes much easier for people to understand than going into grams of carbohydrate, protein, and fat, and all those percentages. So this is what their plate should look like. If they're still able to train moderately, then they're adding more uh, carbohydrates, basically, more um, uh, grains. And um, if they are training hard, they're still kicking butt at home, then their plate can look more like this. Okay, um, let's go to the recording and let's learn how to use the Vitabot app. While I'm pulling that up, uh, I'll go silent. Uh, it'll just be the recording playing. And um, I do want to make people aware how 
their clients can access the Vitabot app. Every single fitness director in the company should have a kind of manager access level in Vitabot. They should have the app installed on their phone. And if a member or client uh, simply emails them, or if you share that member's name and email address that they want to use for the app, then we can invite them through the app. It's very simple and fast. But you're going to use your fitness director for, to, to enable access for any of your members. Uh, if you're not able to do that, or your fitness director doesn't have that access for some reason, you can email me at kboyle at usfitnessgroup.com.
okay, thank you for watching that video. Uh, now would be some time for uh, question and answer. I, I do just want to list a couple best practices. If you're using the Vitabot app, number one, I would try using it yourself. Make sure you totally understand how to navigate there, and you'll come up with some, uh, you know, some workarounds and and um, you know some things that speed up how do you how you're using the app, um, make it most efficient for you. But I would ask all of your clients to first log everything they eat so they can be a little more mindful with being stuck at home. Maybe they're binge watching shows and eating more than they ever would. That they can be a little bit more mindful of the quality of their nutrition, um, you know, what they're eating and when they're eating. So have them log their food for this entire week to get used to using the app. And then maybe have them start using some of those pre-approved meal plans to um, you know, learn from their mistakes in the prior week and how they can hit their calorie goals and uh, macro micronutrient goals as well. Um, so <clears throat> hope you enjoyed this. Uh, I'll open it up to questions now. Please use the hand raise icon in the app. If you click that little hand button, then I'll know to come to you, take you off mute, and you'll be able to uh, ask any questions that you have. Thank you.